In the previous tutorial, we learned how to open and save files at the runtime. Now, we will learn how to load and display 3D OBJ models after opening the file at runtime in Unity. This will work when running on a computer or online through WebGL. Please follow the previous two tutorials on opening and saving files at the runtime if you haven't done so. Let's get started. In the Unity Hub, open the Unity project from the previous tutorial. We will use a free Unity asset by Dummies Man, named Runtime OBJ Importer, to load OBJ models at runtime. I put the link to the asset in the description. Go to the asset page by clicking the link in the description and sign in using your Unity ID. Click the Add to My Assets button. In the Unity editor, go to Window, then Package Manager, and select My Assets for the Packages option. Select the Runtime OBJ Importer package that we just added from the Unity Asset Store, then click Download. Click Import. Select All and click Import again. In the Project window, we can see a new folder named OBJ Import has been added under the Assets folder. This package requires adding the standard specular setup shader. Under the Edit menu, select Project Settings and Graphics. In the Graphics section, under the Always Included Shaders, the count of my current shaders is 7, so I will change that to 8 to add an additional shader and press Enter. A new shader element will be added. Click the Select Shader icon. Search for Standard Specular Setup. Double click the shader to select it. The Standard Specular Shader will be shown here. Great! In this tutorial, we learn how to install and set the Runtime OBJ Importer required to load 3D OBJ models at runtime in Unity. In the next tutorial, we will go through the steps to load and display models using C-Sharp code. See you then.